Love Tuesday. It's Sunday. So what's up guys? It's Sunday. This is my Sunday look. I actually do look like someone we in Sweden call Tjeskedskoman. I guess we would like translate it to teaspoon lady. Don't ask me why. Oh yeah, I do actually remember why she's called the teaspoon lady. She... No, I don't. Anyways. I'm trying to remember, but I can't really. I guess it has something to do with that she can like get really, really small if she touches a teaspoon. Weird thing. Anyways, this week has been pretty good. It's been some up and down, ups, up and downs, ups and downs with training. A few days have been feeling amazing and other days have been not feeling as great. That's like how it is though, because when you're um, training a lot and when like not every day is gonna feel great and you just have to try to motivate yourself to work out even though you don't really feel like it and like those are really the days that counts some days i walk into the gym and i feel so unmotivated i feel so tired run down but then when i actually like start working out i feel way better and the thing is that when you're when when you're done, you're gonna feel so accomplished. That's at least what I feel because like the days when I feel tired and I'm like, oh, maybe I should skip the workout today, but then I go to the gym, I work out for an hour and I walk out feeling like a new person because I have so much more energy. And uh, yeah, it's just like training most of the times actually helps to get me more energy than to like like the days when I feel really tired I have way more energy after working out which always is an amazing feeling and my leg session on Tuesday and my leg session yesterday which was Saturday was actually really good I felt like I had so much energy I felt really strong and I could push myself really hard so that was two big wins this week and my upper body sessions have been feeling pretty good as well at least one that I did with my sister's boyfriend that was a really fun session it's always fun to work out with someone when you usually work out by yourself all the time so that was also a great workout sticking to my diet plan and it's been more uh, ground beef right now than white fish but I'm gonna try to mix it up more next week so I'm gonna do both like lean ground beef and white fish just to get protein from two different sources and not get tired of one of them and I'm a person that easily gets allergic to things so if I eat something too much it seems like I tend to get like an, a reaction it's not an, an allergy I would say it's more like an intolerance that my body can't really take um, can't just I can't eat something for too much for too long but other than that I've been sticking to my diet plan and I'm getting leaner, which I'm happy about because otherwise it would be so mad. And we're actually currently nine weeks out. 
nine weeks it's gonna go by so fast so now I'm super mo like I'm super super motivated now I'm really really um, I don't know what I'm saying anymore but whatever it, it's I feel like I'm super excited to see what results I can get and I also feel really motivated to stick to the plan it's only nine weeks and after those nine weeks I can get off my plan a little bit more and I'm gonna get more food I can work out even harder because I fuel my body with more food so I'm excited for a building phase after this um, diet phase so um, we'll see how that goes because as I mentioned in the first vlog I think is that I actually have Lyme disease since uh, some years back since I was 21 so I've been struggling with, I both have the celiac disease and Lyme. So I'm struggling with some autoimmune diseases, which is making working out harder and staying track of my nutrition way, way more important for me. So it's actually easier for me to stick to the nutrition I should, because if I don't, I know that I'll feel worse. And that's not worth it for me so this is not like a diet for me this is actually a lifestyle I would eat this way pretty much even if I was not about to compete the only thing is that I would eat more than I do right now uh, and I'm still eating around 1800 cal calories so <clears throat> just because you're competing you don't need to eat like a thousand cal calories a day because that's not gonna be sustainable in the long run and it's most likely gonna hurt your hormones and your overall health and for me it's definitely not worth it so I'm doing it a healthy and sustainable way
It's actually pretty cold today. It was close to zero this morning. It's still pretty cold even though it's afternoon. So generally I do either, I do 60 minute walks every day and I either do 60 minutes in the morning or I split it up. So I do 30 minutes right when I wake up and then I do 30 more in the afternoon. And that's what I did today because it was so cold this morning. Now the sun is out. It's super beautiful as you can see, but it's still pretty cold. So one thing I've been doing lately or since I started prep when I go on my walks is that I'm trying to walk as fast as I can. And I'm also trying to only, which I can't do right now because I'm talking, I'm <laughs> trying to only breathe through my, through my nose. So I do three seconds in, three seconds out uh, during the walk. And I would say that you should try it out because it's pretty hard. It's way harder than you think. But it's also really nice. There's some health benefits with only breathing through your nose and not through your mouth. Mouth. So yeah, you should try it out next time you go on a walk. And I would also totally recommend morning walks because it's so nice to get outside first thing in the morning, move your body, get some fresh air. And yeah, look at this view, it's amazing. It's been a really fun week working wise. I've had some amazing success with all my clients, both in the challenge and my one-on-one -on -one clients. They're doing, I'm just so proud. I don't even know what to say because they, they're working so hard. They're following my plan and their results are amazing. So I'm so, I'm super, Super proud of all my clients and I'm excited to keep working to that with them for more results.